film is dead. Not. Absolutely not dead. It is not dead at all. Okay, so my Pentex ME Super, <clears throat> we know this uh, doesn't work if you've been following this channel. I will get it fixed at one point. Um, the camera store, I, I went to a, a mission in town uh, to get a few things in the camera store that I was looking for. Uh, wasn't open anymore, so it was, uh, I don't know where they moved to or if they just packed up shop all together. So I went and I thought, well, I still got a roll of film that I got to, you know, uh, shoot. So I thought I'd do something different. And I bought something. Ta-da! Yes, it's a 35 millimeter camera. This is a, uh, I guess, uh, Rica, R-I-C-O-H, Rica. Rekka, Rekka, however you, you pronounce it. And it's 35 millimeter, uh, FZ70. Sounds like a sport bike. Uh, this is uh, basically a 35 to 70 zoom. I thought it was 28. Uh, yeah, 35 to 70 zoom. But anyway, yeah, okay, fair enough. So it's got, it's got lots, so I'll just move this aside for now. Put this on here. And I'll show you the, the Rekka. Now... How much did I pay for this old film camera? Five hundred dollars? No, no, no. Three hundred? No, no. Two? No, no, no. Hundred? No, no, no. Fifty bucks? No, no, no. Four ninety nine. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they didn't have any SLRs in stock. Uh, they had a couple other uh, uh, cameras like this. That they were all five bucks, and it was at the do dollar store on Bank Street that I got them. Um, and stuff comes and goes all the time. Now, the thing about that, what was really cool about this, uh, that, that wasn't the big thing that made me super, the price was cool, but let me show you exactly what, what really, really was amazing. And the batteries were still in it. I was like, in the store, like, no way! And I was like, no effing way. It's like, it caught me off guard. I, I, I threw an F-bomb out there. I was like, what? a bunch of people looking at me like, what's this? <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, there we go. It still had the batteries in it. Doesn't matter exactly how we charge those bowls anyway, but it's just kind of nice. So let me uh, open it up here. I'll have to do some, some uh, research on this one so I know how to load it properly and everything like that. It's been years since I've loaded a film camera, but you can see uh, there's the shutters, everything's there. So every, everything looks really good on this thing. Um, it's, I don't know, probably, whoop. Oh. It goes into auto rewind mode when you open the door. Uh, just kind of an interesting thing. Anyway, it's got date and time on here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, probably not too much glared. You got your date and time on here. You got modes. You got a self timer right up here. See, and then the self timer comes in. Uh, I think my show my battery's getting low. Or, oh no, it's a uh, self timer for. I don't know. So this got two nine nineteen ninety seven on it. Uh, okay, so turn the timer off. Uh, you've got red eye reduction. Okay, you've got. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, no flash. Flash. So you can see the red eye reduction. Uh, uh, no flash. Flash. Whatever it is. And then you've got mode. I'll turn the, turn the flash off. Uh, this one looks like it's got like a portrait, uh, sunshine mode. Okay, I don't know if you see it there. Then you've got, uh, that one, it says TV. I have no idea what that, what that would be. Mm. I'm on, oh, on the wrong one here. Flash off. Okay, so we did that one. TV. 
Yeah, so we got uh, portrait, landscape with no flash. So, and then you've got TV. I don't know what TV would be. And then it, uh, then you take it off. So, and then uh, for Zoom, there's 70. There's 35. So, 70. Back to 35. <laughs> 70. 35. And then that's just the, uh, I just took a picture. Yep. Uh, it's got a meter up here. And the uh, viewfinder isn't too bad. Um, it, it appears that you got to, this is going to be a lot slower. I, I doubt the camera, you could even come close to seeing what was in there. And, hang on. Oh, there. There you go. You can can't make out the viewfinder, but you can, there we go, you kind of see, there's some like uh, brackets in there, um, but anyway, you get the idea, it's it's uh, just like, uh, kind of like a half rectangle, and then you've got two little things at the top, I guess, for it to break up in thirds, I have no idea how they got it, or it's just holding on there. Now, what kind of pictures does it take? That I don't know yet because I have not, uh, I have not uh, used this yet. So turn that off. And then on the side here, you have mode. I don't know what mode does. And then you have two little select buttons. It looks like you need a pin or something to, to, to move the select buttons. And then, of course, you've got some Duracells in there. And uh, that's my $5 camera. You got this here is just like a thumb hold, I guess, so it, the, the, it's not as slippy. Then your release is right here. You have the the eighth inch on the bottom here. So the pictures I'm gonna take with this, uh, I don't have a useful range here. I have two ranges. I have 35 or 70 mil. So I have two choices of photos. So I'm, I want to plan out my photo shoot with this. And it's been so rainy out and everything like that. I don't know what to take pictures of. So what I'm probably going to do is see if I can <laughs> come up with an idea, make a day of it, and I'll just be a photography day when the weather's nice. Everything I'm going to do is on a stand. I might do some... Uh, like for 35 mil, I mean, this is going to be true 35 mil equivalent because I'm using 35 mil, 400 speed film. Uh, so outside, it's going to be a little bit on the uh, light side. Uh, you know, 400 is usually better indoors, but on a day like today, you'd be using 400 outside. Uh, minimum, you might even be using 640 outside on a day like today. It's so dark. Um... I don't know what kind of light gathering abilities this thing has. So most of my photos I want to be able to do off a tripod. Just because uh, these cameras, they, they, they usually take pretty good pictures, but they're slow. So you usually get some blur, blur and stuff like that. Now, this thing here, I know it's going to probably be older than 1997. Or maybe it's from the, you know, just that's the date that was left in here. 1997. Nobody changed the date, so I don't know if the date automatically changes on here or just somebody didn't change it. But for five bucks, oh yeah, and it has the wrist strap on it, uh, neck strap, whatever. Go around my big fat head. Yeah, look at that, eh? So I can carry it around my neck, nice and light. It's hefty. It's a hefty chunk. There was again. There was too bad. There was a Canon there. I can't remember the model it was, and it was a little bit bigger than this. And it was a film camera. It was probably. A good uh, one of the better prosumer cameras but I couldn't get it to work it still had batteries in it I didn't know if it was just that the batteries were weak and it was special ty specialty type batteries the nice thing about these is they're just double A so I can just top my rechargeables in there um, but yeah so I'll, I'll probably try to set it up so that everything I take pictures of I get a really nice crisp good sharp picture I don't have any black and white film I just have basically um, uh, a roll of, uh, I think, 24 or 36 of uh, 400 Fuji film. That's all I got. Uh, and I, I wanted to 
shoot them in this here, uh, roll, uh, shoot that roll in this, but this camera broke on me, so uh, it will get fixed again at some point. Uh, I still will hunt out some more old film cameras if you guys like this film camera stuff. There seems to be a genre there for it. So yeah, I'll start with the cheap stuff like this. There was a Yusaka, 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 Yusaka uh, camera that was uh, lady around here for like 30 bucks, but it needs a specialty battery. And again, if I'm going to get into that stuff, you know, it's kind of like, uh, it's yeah, unlike uh, the digital, uh, digital you, you, pay, you spend a lot on the camera, but then you, you take free pictures pretty much for the rest of your life, you know, that type of thing. Um, there were some digital cameras there, like older ones, with all little pocket stuff. But I'll keep an eye on that, because uh, you never know what comes through the door there, uh, that type of thing. So as I, if I can pick up other cameras that are working or whatever, that other, that, that Canon, I was going to buy it too. It was probably five bucks as well. I think they were all five bucks. Um, the ones that are there. But I figured I'll use this for now. And if this does a really good job, I went into Henry's and asked them about uh, film processing. They don't do it there anymore, but they send it out to Toronto. But, so that would take a while, you know, send it to Toronto, uh, have it developed, send it back uh, to Ottawa. And then I'd have to go down to Ottawa and get it. So it'll probably be a little while before you see some photos from this. Uh, the other thing is, is I priced out the uh, converter. The converter is about 240 bucks. It's a scanner that will scan uh, film uh, converter scanner, whatever. That will uh, take your negatives and actually uh, turn them into digital. You'd say, well, why not just shoot digital? Well, but this is, you know, uh, film camera. So uh, the first batch of film camera, I don't know if they will uh, up here uh, where I bought my film. I can imagine they probably would send it out. They probably send it out to Toronto, but I want to see wherever I send it if they can give me digital uh, as well, so I can show you guys rather than just holding up the prints, saying, "Hey, how do you like the prints?" You can't really see the sharpness and everything until you see it in digital, right? Uh, to give you an idea of what you can get out of the camera. But really, with these things, is you got to see them in front of your eyeballs to really uh, see it. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. So there you go. So there's my five dollar camera. So film is not dead yet, anyway. <laughs> Have a great day.